Let me ask you, Roberta, because people uh, always come up to me, you know, about they're like, you know, I couldn't remember where I was driving. Do I have Alzheimer's? Mm. I uh, couldn't remember my son's teacher's name. Do I have Alzheimer's? I and this is me too talking about myself. <laughs> you know, this is I'm like I I just rem met that person. I can't remember what their name is. There's so much fear in this space. How do we let people know what is normal aging and what is something we should be concerned about in ourselves and or someone we love? It's a good question because so oftentimes we're told, oh, it's just aging. Right. Right. It's stress. It's stress. You need well, a vacation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think a, a good metric is is it interfering with your daily life, right? In your daily life, are you able to be independent, mm -hmm. right? Balance your checkbook, remember your appointments, create strategies that keep, you know, kind of the reminders. Um, when it's no longer possible, where you now need more and more, more assistance in these activities of your daily life, that's a concern, mm -hmm. right? I think we've ratcheted up, you know, the information flow to overdrive in our world. So there's the question of how much is basically just way too much information right. to encode in short-term memory. But if you go out to the garage and you can't find your car multiple days a week, that's a problem. Right? You mean the big garage, not your own garage. You mean like if you're I shopping. Mean, yes, you yes, can't. yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you can't find it in your own garage, that's a big problem. But if you can't find it in the West Side Pavilion, that's a problem. Because I have a problem. I can remember where I parked my car in the garage. So part of what I do, right, is because it's everything looks the same, right? right? So I park at LAX all the time. Right. They, every single terminal parking lot looks the same. Right. So part of what I do is I'm now very conscious. I'm in this terminal parking lot and that lane, right? So just taking a nanosecond to encode the information. You yeah. write it down? Yes, yeah, especially if I'm on a long trip, I will write down, right? Where, you know, okay. what, I typically don't have to write down the terminal, but I you know the lane that I'm in and the floor. Yeah just to make certain, and it's these kind of metrics of, wait a minute, I'm having trouble finding my car, I'm having trouble remembering my appointments, I'm having trouble kind of remembering way too many people's names that I should know and don't know. That's problematic. If you're not remembering somebody's name and you meet hundreds of people in the week, you're not going to. That's why we wear name tags. Right. So that everybody's like, um, on the other hand, you know, I'm glad you remembered me, right, from when you interviewed me a number of years ago. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Yeah, 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 you're good. I'm, you're good. I'm good here. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think the metric of are you able to continue your daily life mm -hmm. factoring in that we are running on overdrive and way too fast for way too long for way too many of us.